I remember five years ago, more than five years, four years ago, I decided to start a solo trip. So I was just traveling around Ghana, traveling around central region, my own region, and I happened to be here. It's been over four years I stepped foot here. I'll try and put the, that video there for you to see when I started all these things. Anyway, I am here today because after five years, I got a trip, a tour, to bring two beautiful women born in Jamaica but living in Canada to Asin Mansu, the slave river tour site, if I should call it that way. But looking around, you will realize that all those images that I remember that I saw on the walls are still here. Talk about Martin Luther King, that's him right there. We have Harriet Tubman right there. And then we have a couple of them mounted on the walls. Now, I am here, like I said, bringing uh, these beautiful women on a tour to come and learn. This is their first time in Ghana, though, to come and learn the history, what happens to their ancestors here. I've seen Frederick Douglass. Okay, he's from Trinidad, W.E.B. Du Bois. And Frederick Douglass. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not Turner. And Frederick Douglass was? Uh, he was a lawyer, wasn't he? No. He led the abolitionists um, back in here. He wrote his book, The Narrative of Frederick Douglass. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And here's Booker T. Washington, who um, was poor. And he cleans it so well mm -hmm. that um, he got into the university. Mm -hmm. Washington University. Yeah. And here's Martin Luther that we know in the U.S. in the South. And um, this is oh Tubman, Harriet Tubman. Yes, yeah. they thought to bring another. They call her the, um, uh, Moses. Or, yeah, Black Moses. Black Moses. Yeah, they call her well, Moses was black anyway. They <laughs> call her Moses. <laughs> you know, and. Um,
So when you come to uh, the ancestral river park, there are a lot of uh, education that will be told. Uh, the brother right there, he's really good with what he's saying. I mean, given history, um, we've gotten to the part where he said, you can decide to take off your shoes and walk barefooted because you need to absorb the energy, the ancestral energy, the feeling, the connection here. So right now, let me show you when you come here, the first thing you see when you're entering the park. A call Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. Community. It flows from the mountains from this direction, connecting with the other river. It's called non concealed because that's where the ancestors bathed themselves. They were not allowed to go to the far end of the river. That part of the river flows very fast. We call it the Ochi River or Ama Emisa Ochi. Ochi means something which can wash you away or grab you. Our ancestors were not allowed to go there because their captors didn't want to lose any of them. So they kept them away from there. Kept them in this river with chains and shackles, metal balls around their ankles. So then they were in there and they couldn't use their hands. How do I clean myself if I had my hands shackled like this? The best way is that I find a way to get close to you. I help you, you help whoever is closer. Then we help each other clean themselves. But then when they saw us doing that, they thought our ancestors were getting much closer to themselves to free themselves to escape. So they got them separated. After the separations, they will go ahead and cut the bamboo. The leaves of these bamboos are very itchy and sharp. So then they use it on their bodies. Washing them with it left them with bruises all over their bodies. After that, they pull them up. Got them lined up here, allow them to get dried. After they got dried, they apply shea butter or pumpkin oil on their skins to make them look presentable and attractive for the buyers to come here to pick. The buyers were here with their branding tools. So they left it in the fire. Go mm. out there to select whoever they want to select. After the selections, they went ahead to pay for them and chain them to the trees like this. Then they branded their back, their mm. chest, their shoulders, their forearms from the waistline upwards. Wherever they decide is where they will brand you. There were a group of people who were here from different companies to purchase. 
they were with their logos, their initials, their numbers to purchase. And after that, they branded them. Those who were bought were taken on a walk to the Cape Coast dungeon. It's about 70 kilometers from here. The ones who were left in the chains were classified as useless commodities. Not a single person in that group saw the next day life. Every single one of them mm. were shot. They killed all of them and dumped them all around. Left them to rot. It was nature that had the place covered. Personally, I call the place the bamboo slave dumping site. But then some people call it the bamboo slave site. <laughs>